over yeah. the number. So the when when that happen, they cannot override and uh, correct it by like you know like by us have yeah. to yeah, yeah. Have to send the issue to Pantana to to make an adjustment to make changes. Yeah. Um, yeah. So um. For them, like they have some difficulty, you know, uh, what they facing, they cannot like pending the invoice if they waiting for, for the SA to to complete everything. Sometimes SA give them like you know beside their own mistake, beside uh -huh. one issue the invoice. Sometimes they, they have to wait for something and then um or. They cannot wait and they submit it. It turned out that they have to have another item into the invoice. And yep. they 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 get a lot of like wrong invoice. And she said uh, and it cost them for the the team when they submit to tax department, it's quite a, an issue too. Sometimes they 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 do two in Y duplicate to the tax department by mistake because like how they not fixing it right away, and then they okay. they file the tax wrongly as well. Um, mm. yeah, so this is what our problem right now <laughs> regarding the numbering. Yep. I thought they do manual, but it turned out it's auto. Oh yeah, it's manual now. Right now, still manual. <laughs> Um, what yeah. team, like, but they they still said they automatically uh, get the number like when the issue invoice the 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 invoice number assigned to the invoice number assigned to the transaction and they have to wait you know like um if multiple customer at the same time because we have few SA so if few SA serving the customer. They can like, complete that one first customer invoice, and then the next person cannot issue another invoice at the same time. Um, Why? I don't know. The numbering issue. That's what she said. Like, if it's not sent out, it's not like uh, complete. Uh, the next person cannot at the same time working on another invoice. That will cause a little bit delay. That's why if I, I ask them to like, you know, slow down, don't, don't just submit the invoice, then they cannot change it. You have to work carefully. But they said that they have to to think about like the next customer in line. So yes. some difficulty they're facing. I, I, I don't understand why they cannot why they have to wait for the other SA? I mean, uh, it's because of the invoice number. Uh, maybe, maybe Tola can explain more details about it. Yes, sure. Um, what's so what's? Like the... It's coming. Oh, okay. Okay, that's fine. Um, yep. Yeah. Uh, ask me. I mean, um, yeah. I will. I will. I will try to check again if this invoice uh, auto numbering um, mm. can handle this kind of. But as far as I know, yeah, as far as set, I know, yeah, now, to set, yeah, yeah, to set up the invoice numbering with the same um text, calculation. Uh, with the, yes, yeah, same calculation. <laughs> Um, can have only one. Can have can have only one um, numbering set. But I um, invoice. Yeah. The the thing is, um, they can process two in one at the same time. Is that possible? No, it's it is it is possible to to post the invoice at the same time. I think mm -hmm. should I mean, be like, should not be a problem. 
I don't know what what what's wrong with it. I mean, what's mm. what's the actual cost that they can't they can't invoice? I mean, they can't post the two invoices at the same time. It should be able. Um, mm. Okay. Yeah, we will we will see from uh, Tala. Uh, all right, sure, sure. Um, you know, another question is, yeah. uh, Tana, uh, I mean, Dealer Pro doesn't allow an admin, you know, like if we, TM Moto assign someone as an administrator and they can override some of the transaction. Is that possible? What do you mean? What, kind of, what, what transaction? like um you know when the mistake happened it's not the sa or the cashier who who fix the numbering or you know like work on the invoice again you know try to fix the invoice at at something take off something but uh they will need a supervisor and administrator of the system um that uh from 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 us so we can uh, ask you all the time you know oh uh, i see yeah. no because uh, for example an invoice mm -hmm. if it has been if it has been posted or invoiced to accounting mm -hmm. uh, it cannot be it cannot be amended anymore no, no, no. yeah big yeah it's actually uh, mm -hmm. Pentana cannot do that because it's actually very um, it's for a security reason actually. But yeah. since sometimes customer um, force us to like authorize yes. someone from our side, like we trust someone and we authorize someone from our side to 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 reduce that mistake and make correction or maybe um yeah. if okay I, if you if you use if okay if you still use manual numbering maybe mm -hmm. i can uh i have a solution for that like it's so um we can use like temporary temporary invoice Ah, oh, state temporary invoice. So, but I'm I'm referring to service invoice only, right? Yeah, sure. Service invoice, service yep. invoice, because there's like, quite a lot of transaction on service invoice yep. compared yeah. to the car sales, and I'm I'm gonna show you the we we call it um like a pro forma. No, no, yeah, something like that, but. Okay, I'm. I'm gonna show you how it works. Mm -hmm. uh, hope Tola has joined us, so you, you can see this. Yeah. Tola. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Tola has joined. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so I'm, I'm, I'm gonna show you, um, like a, a new, a new propose process for you, so you can, like, when you have already posted the invoice, then you can um, unpause. Can un invoice and then you can <coughs> you can amend then uh, invoice it again. All right, I, I'm mm -hmm. I'm going to show you now. Um, okay. But it can work only for if you use manual invoice numbering. Can it cannot use the auto numbering? Right, since you use the manual invoice numbering, so that's why. Um, I suggest this process. Um, yeah, because uh, 
this foreign moment we use manual yeah yep yep <coughs> i know that <coughs> so hmm. okay i will just Okay, now I'm going to print the invoice here. Okay, and then I put the invoice number, for example. Uh, continue. Yes. So you get the invoice number here. Then you see this unposted invoices here. Yeah. The invoice that we just we just created, it's still unposted, right? So, for example, when you when you make mistake, you can still uh, uninvoice it. Right, and then recreate again. Yep, you can you can uninvoice it. Click here. Can okay, right? It's gone from the unposted invoice, oh. and then it's also gone from the invoice lookup. And then you can uh, change it again here. This customer. You and can then. We, we we can use the same invoice number yes you can use the same invoice number okay for example i i add another line here mm. uh, I, I add another part Right, and I print again. Yes, I use the same invoice number. This one. Continue. Yes. Ah. No, sorry. Um, it should be able. Wait, wait. Um, should be able to use the same number. <clears throat> what if? Okay, I will. I will check that. <clears throat> yeah but i will check that later but it should be able to use the the same number because the same the previous number has been cancelled and yeah. not used so you should you should use the previous number but i will check later okay um next if you have already invoice it for example i'm going to create another invoice Nine and seven. Right. 
right so in here unposted invoice you see two invoices right so uh, yeah as as you know you can uninvoice it but at the end of the day if you are already sure that this invoice is already uh, finished or final you can you can post you can post all or you can post one by one post selected simple you check maybe um, like Tola maybe you have to do this like you have to verify this one first um, not service advisor of course you mm, check the right. invoice at okay. the end of the day at the end of the day then you have to post uh, one by one mm. yeah. After you post, then it it's already posted to accounting, and then uh, it cannot be uh, uninvoiced again. Okay. So if it's still in here, unposted invoice, you still be able to change it, uninvoice, and then change it, and then invoice it again. But if it is already posted, if you post this already, then it cannot be changed anymore. But Again, I um, I tell you, this function works only for if you still want to use the manual invoice numbering. Yeah. Right. If you use auto numbering, it doesn't work perfectly. Doesn't work because it will need. Yeah, there is complicated things that. Um, cannot use if you use the auto numbering for auto numbering um, is that like the SA who do the final posted or someone else have to like approve there's the there need for approval or not before before post posting? if you use auto numbering yeah if both. you use auto numbering okay mm -hmm. I, I, I'm gonna show you Mm -hmm. If you use auto numbering, um, I'm going to print the invoice. You see this? Okay. Um, let me check first. The invoice number is zero one SU. It, it's mm -hmm. like the it's like the temporary invoice number zero one SU zero zero one. Okay. Okay. Let me check first. <coughs> so when I post it, see. <coughs> change so when you use the invoice temporary invoice uh, when you use the 
this uh, temporary invoice number. Yeah, I mean the unposted invoice. Mm. When when it's when it's um, when it's not posted, the invoice number is different. You see, the, the previous mm. one is zero one SU. Mm. System needs to use like temporary invoice number. <clears throat> yeah, I, I show you again. Okay, so um, when they process it, it's only a temporary number assigned yep, to it. Yeah, yep, only temporary number, not the final, not the fixed invoice number. Mm. Okay, I think it they post. are required to 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 post to go to the to post the invoice, so someone can double check. Yep. At the end. Zero one SU zero zero two. Mm -hmm. Okay. See you can see SU is the still the temporary invoice number. SU. I, I'm going I'm I will show I will show you um why system has to use the temporary invoice number. Okay, I'm I'm gonna create one more invoice. Mm -hmm. um. Okay, now we have two unposted invoice. Right. Why they use the temporary invoice number? If it's not posted because if it is auto numbering when you for example if if it is already used the real invoice number if you uninvoice it and then invoice it again system cannot get the uh, previous invoice number so the invoice number will be will be blank Will be skipped. That's, that's, you mean like uh, there will be one number? Yeah, will be skipped. Yeah. If like the system, a wide, if the the system is... doesn't use the temporary invoice number. Yeah, okay, got that. This way, this way, like, for example, the real invoice number is this one. 004 mm -hmm. is the last, the latest, or, or the last invoice number. Okay. These two Got it. number three can be zero five or this one can be zero five, right? Which mm -hmm. which yeah. invoice that we posted uh, first? So when posted, it will go to the confirm number, right? Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah, like in order in their order of posting. Yeah. First, yeah. next, like that. So both either way. Uh, I mean, like as, as I see what you've done now, it means like manual, manual numbering can also go to change something for the unposted. When it unposted, the status is not posted. Then they can fix it, right? They can yep. add it. Yep. Okay. Yep. But if if it if you use uh, manual, mm -hmm. I mean. Um, when unposted and posted, the invoice number is still the same, right? Like this. Oh. Oh. For for auto number, mm -hmm. unposted and posted is different. Yes, because they right. only go which one confirm first. In which yep. One. Yep. yep, yep. So like this, this is unposted. As you, you mean unposted. So if, yeah, yeah, the auto numbering is yeah. more better yeah. for for the operation. Yeah, better for yeah. operation. Yeah. But you, you just, I mean, um, if you're okay with the temporary invoice number, then fine. Um, but I mean, can can you go in? I mean, like when it auto numbering and you select the unposted and go into editing. On that temporary invoice, is that fine, yes. right? 
Yes, yes, you can you can still uh, an invoice mm -hmm. this one um 1503. I see. So uh, this kind of function only allow some we we, we only assign to one person. Yep, yep, correct. Um I would I would say it, it's it would be Tola. The yes, yes. Yeah. We yeah. assign to like a supervisor, a manager who who actually yeah, supervisor or manager. Yeah. be able to help them out when yeah. when so, it actually what, mistake. <laughs> yeah, when the yeah, mistake right, happened yeah. actually, yeah. So this is the one that um, I just uh, uninvoiced. Mm -hmm. so I'm going to print the invoice again. So it got the new temporary invoice number, SU004, yes. mm -hmm. right? right? The thing is, if you use this, you give the invoice, you give the invoice with the temporary invoice number to customer. Ah, yes. Yeah. And if we use that invoice to track or to look up, we won't find it right yeah right <laughs> because after you post the invoice will change yeah it, it it's not posted yet mm -hmm. so but you have you have given this invoice number to the customer but i got the thing is um when when we set all the the, the fa like the payment with customer this is final i think the mistake probably happen before like i mean like for general customer when they when they bring out they, they print out the invoice it means final it means like when they hand over with the customer it should be the final invoice and the amount and everything on it should, should be correct already yeah yeah, yeah. you're right so, yeah, um, yeah. yeah so customer should always take the correct invoice because it match the amount and everything yeah. like most most likely like a lot like 99% uh, it should be like that um even yeah 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 and when I, they I, settle, I when they pass to the customer and they pass the document it should be the the final one i know i know i know what yeah. you mean but but yeah. why sometimes i don't know Tola, what, the uh, mistake is probably belong to the 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 one on credit then, the company yeah. corporate customer, the one that is still on yeah. credit yeah. and yeah. um, Correct. they not Correct. settle and they still on reviews. The other side, uh, the customer Correct. side still in review. Yep, yeah. but sometimes uh, okay. it yeah. happens something like this also, Rasmi. Mm -hmm. For example, yeah. when um the SA print the invoice mm -hmm. right it print the invoice already it posted but okay. but then the sa realize or the or the customer mm -hmm. realize before the customer pays oh it's wrong mm -hmm. why there is no discount for example yeah sometimes like someone already offered as discount but uh, yeah the one issue the invoice miss that <laughs> yeah right then it's good to go back and fix it yeah yeah i heard what they done they will do it in excel <laughs> to 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 deal with the situation yeah so yeah, yeah. to to make it faster yeah. right i mean it's, yeah it's hard to fix in the system at that time mm. okay yeah it costs a so, lot of weight yeah i think if we do uh temporary uh invoice number we can show to the customer too and then it's the customer that check everything is all right yeah, yeah they 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 can use that one and then we come back to cause it again to to be the final final one and yeah post it like print the, with the receipt the yeah, final yeah. invoice post it and print it and then along and with the receipt it's been done yeah 
Yeah. So the last, I think for the corporate customer, you still can uh, issue it as a, like um, unposted first, like temporary first. And when everything done, you print the final invoice. Yeah, it can be like that too. Uh, the unposted still can print, right? Yeah, right. Yes. Yes. Okay. That, that should be fine. Yeah, I will. I will. Um, if you want to use this, um, what what we call actually unpost, Already. unposted invoice, mm -hmm. unposted invoice. If you want to use this unposted invoice, mm -hmm. um, I will have to double check again if the function is working, is still working properly. It's still working properly because the Philippines, most of uh, our Philippines customer using this. Um, they 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 use manual invoice number most of our Philippines customers because um, they cannot use auto number because of the the tax invoice number has been assigned by the government so they have to uh, enter their manual um, assigned invoice mm -hmm. number from the government into the system so uh, okay. uh, yeah most of the most of our Philippines customers using manual invoice number and then using this. Mm -hmm. uh, unposted invoice. Yeah, so but that, uh, a good function. Yeah, yeah, it's good. With, with the situation we have now, it's not like yeah. I want them to keep changing, but it's uh, they they could have this um um scenario. Yeah. All yeah, the it, time. It, yes. It's good. It's good, but as I said, it's it's not yeah. good if use the auto invoice number. Mm. Yeah. Right. Um. So as long as you use the manual invoice number, then it's fine. And and, and if, like Tola said, if you print the temporary invoice number first to customer, actually, um, without without uh, print the invoice, you can also print the pro forma. Oh right? yeah. Yeah, actually, you can print the pro forma first. Yes, the the two kind of customer that Tola have to think about the flow of work. So yep. the 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 general customer that they are settle the invoice right away, and the corporate customer that are on credit. On credit, yeah. yeah so like the this. flow have to have consider um to be fit into each yep. situation. Yep. Yeah. Most of um, customers in Indonesia, yeah. the service advisor normally print the pro forma invoice first. Mm -hmm. So this is a uh, pro forma invoice printed and then uh, show to customer. And then when okay. the customer already approved the total, yeah. already approved the amount, and then the cash the bill. The cashier yeah. or the assembly advisor print the invoice and then, yeah, receive the money. Yeah, so the final invoice should be printed along with the receipt. <laughs> yeah. When yeah. issue a receipt. Yeah. Right, so, uh, yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. I'll need to check the unposted invoice first, especially the one that I just. Yeah, you can replace the same number and reuse. Yeah, with, with using the same number, um, it could not be done i just tried but i will check again should be okay. should be able to check uh, to use the same number yeah all right um so yeah um me back to yes. back to the back to sorry um the your invoice numbering mm -hmm. format yes um if you want to use the auto number okay Right. First, the consequence is um, when you use the unposted invoice function, uh, mm -hmm. you will you will use you will be having the uh, temporary invoice number like I showed you just now. Yep. Yep. And then, I'm still not sure if we can do like this right on the one customer invoice. 
but with two separate invoice number, I'm not sure. But I will check again and let Maybe you know. Maybe the type is it possible to change type? Like for for corporate customer, you can put T tax in Y, right, or something like that. Yeah, but it needs. I think it needs yeah. uh, program changes yeah. from our developer. Oh yeah. Yeah, it it is possible if if uh, if our management approves it and uh, our developer can fix it. But it mm -hmm. needs it needs our management to approve the changes. Okay. Of course, it sure. is possible. Um, yeah. I I I write an email to Ara to Ara. Uh, to explain the situation because like what we kind of clarify right now is like the calculation of the amount it's the same it's just like the requirement from the government <laughs> that they they oh, want yeah. to give two set of uh invoice numbering mm. yeah and and I, I will email to era on this and see if um uh could help with the auto numbering yeah um yeah i will i will talk i will talk this first to ara so okay. she will be aware when you email here okay so, yeah sure thank you echo yeah thank you um, yep yep so um i'm going to yep i will check the Voice. Use the same uh, invoice number uh, when the check to Yep, and then of course uh, reports from Tala. Uh, I'll just read it. Um, what I should do to this. Ah, okay. Anything else, Tala? That you want to check or discuss? Oh, sorry. One more is um, I think about. Oh, no, no, regarding the Maxus, you will need to check the if there are duplicates part number, right? Yeah, so yeah. My, uh, my suggestion only if you want to prevent the duplication, you just need to add the prefix on the part number. Um, yeah, that's that's what my suggestion. That's all. Anything else? Tola? Yeah, it will so for the spare part report, we already complete the summary format and then we still not yet complete the detail, detail report for this. Okay, for the detail. Right. Yeah, for the detail. Hang on. You see my Excel? Yes. Okay. This is the details. What do we want to add? Mm, yeah. You need something else to add to the report? So can we see issued by, you know? Issued by. Yeah, okay. yeah. Because yeah because our spare part in charge with two people so we easy to recognize sure right yeah you should buy right anything else yeah i think it's enough all right that's good uh, yeah. yep this is the summary hmm. this is the details And is it possible to, to plot out the statistic? What do you mean, plot the statistic? Yeah, I, I mean, if we, in the summary, yeah, summary report, so 
maybe we we just uh, tracking like the 20 20 maximum stock out items so we yeah we we, we can plot it as the statistic look like in excel so we, we can know more clearly that what is the maximum yeah stock out like just only 20 item i think is in wow, you mean the first 20 like the first top 20 yeah. parts item okay for example something like this um no, no. You want you you want like you want to sort maybe the the first top twenty yeah by the quantity sold largest to smallest something like this mm. you can just you can just you mean you want only you want only um see the top 20 Is I, mean, mean? I mean yeah uh, we can see all item but uh, the item can yeah uh bit too small like in in order bit too small like oh yeah okay like, like this yeah. right like this yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so you can you can just uh, filter out later yeah All right, yeah. So just um, sort it by the quantity. That's fine. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, um, this for the Japan report format. Then. This is all for the spare uh, part report, report format. Okay. Sorry, Tola, are you asking me? Yeah, yeah. So that's all for the spare part report uh, format. Okay, okay. Trust me, do you have anything else to discuss? Oh, no, not right now. Okay. I just yes. learning material for accounting module. Oh yeah, sure. I will. Okay, I will. Um, that should be okay. Yeah. Um, how about CRM? Did you yeah. get a get a hold of um CRM? CRM. Okay. Ah, uh, I'm going to show you um mm -hmm. the CRM modules in here. What normally be used in the system in the Pro for CRM is um like reminder notices. Reminder, follow up. Yep, yeah, reminder. Okay, reminder and follow up, of course. Wait, hang on. Reminder is like it's not. Uh, it's not really reminder. It's just um, if you want to, for example, if you want to get the list of the cars that should be back in to service within this week for example you can filter out from here for example the date the, the next service date within this week from 21 until 27 mm. okay Click yes see here is the car that should be back into service this week you can see okay this is the name right 
the, the registration, the last RO is on uh, 18. This, should, this must be wrong, right? 28 December 20, and the next service should be 26 March 21. Right. Yeah. So you can you can you can print the selection and then get the contact here. So okay. could we export to Excel? Possible? Yeah, possible. You can export it to Excel. But if if the customer is like this, it's a TF Motors customer. <laughs> you you don't have the contact, then you 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 need to ask the uh, TF Motors to get the contact details of this. Registration number, right? So, so yeah, it go, it go for for this one. Could you add like the service note into this report? Service note. What do you mean, service note? Yeah, because when the customer coming and yeah, they ask for something or complain for something. We write down it in the service note in repair order. Ah, okay. Yeah. Yeah, yes. Yeah. So if we remind the customer and with like the brief information, we will easy to, to link mm -hmm. what the customer I see. Order, what I see, yeah, I see. No, no, not possible in this report. Um not, not possible, but it's good. It's it's good idea. Um, let me see if I can ask our product management to add that function. I think it's a good good idea for you. Um, yep, yep. I will check if it is possible to add that into the report. Yeah, so that's 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 uh, how the reminder notices work. And then the other function for CRM is follow up. Right. Eagle, eagle. Yep. And please add like the job tab, previous job tab. Previous job card. Job type. Job type. Yeah, job yeah. Yeah. Okay. The latest job tab. Yep. Mm. Right. So you haven't used this follow up inquiries before. Yeah. You haven't used follow up, right? Okay. Well, let me let me let me try first. stuff It hasn't been set up. I'm going to check the other.
Mr. Sir, please give me a reminder. Right, so, um, yeah, for example, for example, after your CRM person or CRC or CRM person um, call the customer after after the car being serviced, and you do the follow up, right? Yeah. Uh, how many days after the service normally you call the um, customer? The regular is three days after service. Three days after service, right? Yeah. So, um, put the follow up type as S mean after services. If V mean after Before? vehicle sold. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, after so, vehicle sold. After vehicle sold. After you sell, after you deliver the new vehicle to the customer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. B and for you after uh, service as and then the follow up person registration number you can choose the registration number or and then the the RO number you can just type the RO number for example R zero zero one the method phone or walk in is normally phone the type if it is follow up or complain. Sometimes customer call in uh, to the workshop and then um, they have complaint or something. You can also uh, record the complaint to the system. Right. So if it is uh, follow up, then select follow up. Reason you can select um, after service follow up. And then what's the result? If it is satisfied. Customer certified or not satisfied, right? Or can contact. For example, it's it's not satisfied. Now, what's what's the what's the detail? What's the reason they the customer is not satisfied? For example, um, complain about uh, waiting time. Okay long right yeah that that just complete or maybe don't complete it since you have to follow this up first right so now it's um, already recorded on the system and then later on you as the manager or supervisor you can check the follow-up that has been done by the CRM team or CRM staff. You can you can see which one is this, which one is satisfied, which one is not satisfied. You can see uh, oh why this is not satisfied. You can double click on it and see the reason why it's not satisfied. And then you can um, you can do the action. Um, what was wrong on the last service of this customer? Yeah, so that's how how the uh, follow up works. If you want to use this function, right? Yeah. I think it's um for CRM on the um, yeah just just the two of all. The other one is not stuck the old old modules that not being used anymore not being maintained like 
marketing letters it's like a uh, old paper letters yeah so um in after CRM we just use reminder note and and follow up only yep reminder have, notice follow up yep if you have any for example any requirement that you think you need something for the CRM just let me know and I will check if it is possible to be done in a system yeah 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 just let me know normally only reports CRM on no, uh, normally only using Google Pro for reports like for example um, the report that customers that being serviced on the last three days right so they have, the CRM has um, a list of the customer that should be called today yeah normally only only reports what what they need yeah yeah um anything else ask me crm after crm what else no as long as <laughs> Lula can manage his customer um for like you know the profile of the customer that he can look up how many times been service and stuff like that uh one thing that i noticed about like the tf moto customer profile the thing is that TF Moto is the one who pay pay the service, but it was the free package to the customer for like one to three year, and after after expire the, the the promotion, the package that customer receive it will be transferred to the customer completely, and the name of the customer should be should be changed to to the actual user. Mm. Is that possible to like transfer in the future, like when yeah, when, when one yeah and one of the unit one of the win number will be like um expire the promotion and then the 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 customer will own it and they come to service by themselves like pay their own payment by their own not 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 TF Moto paying anymore. Yep, I I know what you mean. Okay, let me. Um, show you. Hang on. I'm going to check. Okay, With the customer name like this, um, how can the la kind of uh, control like if the win number is still in TF Moto name? Is it to la able like right now? Can to la able to know which which customer is which? Yes. Yeah. For example, okay. this. Does it have a sharp customer name or something? So he can identify. Okay, let me check this mm. 27, okay. 29. Okay, for example, this is the registration number. I'm thinking you should use like the the data is the the data is TF Motors, but the yeah. driver is the customer name. So you you still record the customer name. Uh, oh yeah. 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 So don't don't I mean, uh, do not use uh, TF Motors for both data and driver. For driver. Yeah, the yeah, driver you should you should yeah. use. The refer as the customer name. For example, the customer name, you can create a new customer. Antola. The customer name is Antola, for example. The vector. Yeah, so something like this. So you still has the record. 
of the customer name. So now I create a new job here. Right. Yeah, we um, should do that. Yeah, yeah. Right. Um, yep, and then I'm going to print the import, try to see if um, Yeah, the name is still here in the uh, TF Motors. Yeah, yeah uh, we need to change debtor. Yep, yeah, the debtor is the TF Motors, right? Yeah, yeah. Yes. If yeah, I, yeah. I mean, if we want to show my name, the debtor, we need to change. Yeah, yeah. You need to change the debtor later. I mean, when it's already expired, right? Yeah, yeah. Yep. Sure. Okay. So I mean, I mean, um, even if it's already uh, i mean if it's still on uh, the free package you still do like mm -hmm. that so you can so echo can one you need one win number have two adapter when you need have two adapters okay. what do you mean okay what what happened is so tm motor will give a free package for oi chain only but the customer that same yep. unit within the promotion period he have something wrong he need to fix the wipe the, yep. the wiper yep. the mirror can, can right can. Can sure. that, that's good that, that's perfect because yep. it happened customer like probably need to pay by themselves because the the, the company the promotion yep. the free package is only for certain certain things Okay, Tola, what you need to, okay, before I, before I explain what uh, Rasmi asked, um, okay, I um, show you one more time. You have to change the driver here. Mm -hmm. Example, and Tola, 1736, but don't forget to change this again, service owner. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so service owner, and then this driver. Right. Then you create new job here. Um, in we, here, we comment on this. You should see. Okay, save it first. If you see it. So I mean, you have a record in the vehicle. That the service owner is um, seventeen thirty six for adapter code. Right. And I'm going to. I'm going to show you how. Uh, if you want to have um, uh, two adapters. Uh, for example, this is the free maintenance. Package. This is this is in will this will be invoiced to this debtor. One 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 three, which is TF Motors, right? Yeah. So if you want to charge another um amount to the customer you can create a new job here for example g for example um, they have another job for example um wheel alignment yeah alignment yeah alignment for example um okay this this will be for example this will charge for three and then the wheel alignment is just for example 20. all right now we see it the depths one 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 three and this one 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 three you can change it to press f7 here and then the see after you change the depth you click save job See, you got two debtor codes here. This free maintenance packet belongs to um, debtor code 1113. Alignment 1736. With same RO number, right? Same RO number. This is the same RO number. But when you print, it will become two invoice number. 
Could, could you try a screen board? Yeah, yep. I'll, I will print it now. I will print it now. This auto invoice number? Yes, auto invoice number now. Yeah. See, this is so, the invoice for TF yeah, Motor. Uh -huh. Yeah. 23, total 30, uh, 30. And then I click on exit here. It prints another one. Or Entola. Mm. Right. This will alignment. Yes, different invoice number. Different, different invoice number. If you see it. Same, same RO, different invoice number. Same RO, different invoice number, correct. Yeah. Here. Hmm. Same RO, different debtor, different customer, different invoice number. Yeah. Okay. Could, could, could I see it again? Could okay, it. sure. Um, I'm going to oh. take another. First, um, you have to change this driver, right? Yeah. To any name, for example, some some Sina ten fourteen, and then change also in the vehicle tab, service owner ten fourteen. So we we change in order to make uh, invoice to TF first, right? Yep. This, yeah. this is the invoice for TF first. Yeah. Okay, for yeah. example, the, this is the periodic maintenance. Yeah. At the time, for example, 22.5. Right? This is chapter code 1113. Uh, you just need to create a new job. Mm. For the one that you are going to charge to customer, right? So select the job here, and then in this chapter from here, just change yeah. the number, the code, or you can find the customer name. Come see now. Sorry. And then don't forget to click the save job. Save job. Yep. Then make sure if you select this, yeah, make sure the debtor code has changed. See. That's all you need to yeah. do. And then we print in boy, right? Yeah, of course, print in voice. What else? Yeah, yeah. Could could you go to print invoice? Oh, uh, you want to see again print invoice? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, just the same. It will just yeah. uh, pop up to twice. Mm. We attain boy four thousand. Yeah. Thousand. Yeah, so okay. and then we you, exit. Yeah, after you click on exit, it will print another one. Uh, automatically, yeah. Yeah, automatically. Now, automatically. Yeah, so, yeah if, if, if it doesn't if, if it doesn't pop up the second invoice, you can just reprint. 
I go to invoice lookup and then reprint from here. From from here. Yeah. yeah. It go and one more thing. I go. Yep. Yep. Sure. Yeah. Uh, what is it? So uh, now that we have a uh, concern with the promotion package, mm -hmm. like the uh, yeah. So in the system, there is uh, no information to show us uh, what free and how long and who to be free. So we we look manual by paper by paper. So it seem very complicated and tech i think you can use time. like warranty start date or warranty expired date i mean the 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 promotion package is depend on the model and depend on the customer and it's not fit or it's not right with the full of vehicle warranty for example i i buy a new car model rx5 so the the company will give me a promotion package like will be free maintenance five times okay yeah yeah i, I want to to get the free maintenance vehicle like the, the way to communicate or link together when we create ro and create invoice to prevent any mistake or any time to looking for again and again free or not free or not something yeah yeah you can do that um you can use uh, memo link maintenance uh, for example vehicle registration number okay i'm going to show you for example this one the um, Add and click add. Pico registration number. The new one. Service. Not service. Repair order. Expire that. Simple. Uh, uh, Twenty-one. Uh, Twenty-four. Memo one. Status. Standard. Free. Maintenance package. What do you want to put the information? For example, until. Uh, 21 December 24. Mm, if I mean, uh, is it possible if we include some item? Yes, yes. You can just put the in the on the notes here. What, what items? What items do you mean? Like the engine oil and oil filter. You mean? You mean you want to automatically put the engine oil on the job? Yeah, when uh, what what you do right now? I think it is just the a memo or some yes. note. It's yeah, just, to, to, just to, note. To, it's only yeah, note. I, yeah, I what I want is I want to create RO and then one RO will generate or will remark for us that this moment or this condition that we call will be free for that item yeah you just i think you just put this one for example free oil filter free what else um engine oil then when you open this you will see this notice Yeah, we, 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 we can know the item and the debt, but we cannot track. Example, 
I have, yeah, I have uh, my promotion package is five oil filter, five uh, oil filter for the quantity. Yep. So I, I want to know that you have used uh, already how many oil filters, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. You can see, you can see the ROI story in here. Just click ROI story, then you can see it. Um, how many oil filter has been has been used has been uh, has been uh, allocated to the to this car? Uh, no, yeah, we we cannot automatically track how many oil filters that had been has has been used by this uh, free package. No, then you have to check this manually on the history. Mm. Uh, I think what uh to to love one if we if from the accounting point of view, if the the free package is already paid in at one, yep, and then yep. like they paid five times and then they use one time and then there will be the credit left three times. Oh, I mean like they use two times, there will be three times left. Um, yep. yeah, from accounting, it might be if it, the full package are repaid in full, like five times, one lump sum are repaid. And if they, the customer come to, to, to service how many times and how many times left, it probably can see from the accounting side. But mm. that for, yeah. for the advance at one pay, like, um, a prepaid. Like and and earn a revenue that they that, that 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 they get, I guess, and then they settle it through the service use. But there will be another complicating thing, I think. Yeah, it, yeah. Uh, I know, I know. Yeah, I know. Okay, I know what. I understand what what is required mm -hmm. um, from the accounting perspective. Yeah. But yeah, that that's all what what we can do in this in the system. Or, or maybe you can also use this if you want we can we can add um, custom field in here right for example I'm going to add I'm going to add uh, another miscellaneous field in here uh for example oil filter okay so we have a new field in here so when you open the this bar. Um, sorry, I have to log, log in. I have to log in. See, you see now this field oil filter. If you want to track how many oil filter that has been uh, used by this car, you can just, for example, um, for example five, for example, five oil filter, five free oil filter. Right. To. So after after we add our filter here. So after you add one oil filter to the job, then you you have to manually deduct the um, the quantity left. Okay. 
save, save, save. Then you print this invoice. Okay, and then when when the car come back again for service, right, free engine, engine oil. You see the amount free, the amount left for the free oil filter is four. You can track the amount left in here also. Yeah. But but you have to do it manually. I see. Okay, so for example, this is for the next surface, then you 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 add um oil filter again. Hang on for a second. Okay, so um, yeah, after you add another oil filter here, then you have to manually um, deduct the quantity, it becomes three now, right? And then click save. See. Now, oh, and um, for accounting, uh, we can link the report if you want to see how many item left, how many free item left from this menu here. Okay. Well, that's, that's, that's what you can do if you want to um, track the quantity left it should be yeah, it should be done manually yeah. so uh, the way to track the maintenance or the free quantity we can track him by see the customer information that we did manually and then we can verify with the RO history, right? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Let me know. Let me know the item. The item that you add in here. Then I, I'm. I'm gonna. I will add this. For example, oil filter or. Um, Oil engine. Just let me know. Yes, yeah, yeah. Okay. I will send you letter, yeah, like the model by model. Yep. Yeah. 
what else? Uh, hi, Echo. The, yep. um, what, uh, how long will the training it will be continued here? I, I got a call from the bank and I might need to leave around three. Uh -huh. So is it okay I leave you guys or um yeah yeah is that a, a tomorrow or like uh, how about tomorrow is that yeah, tomorrow if you want if you if you still have any concerns uh we mm -hmm. we have uh we can we can do it again tomorrow because um I am mm -hmm. booked or I am scheduled for two days right um until okay. tomorrow so That's if you true. still have any concerns. We can, yeah. we can we can still discuss until um five o'clock mm -hmm. or if not enough until tomorrow it's up to you mm. okay um my appointment is around three so i i have to leave to arrive there at three but right. um for the tomorrow uh, i will have to when i come back i need to ask Tola. Or Tola can can yeah. inform echo what you need for tomorrow yep. for me um i do not have any more only i think only from Tola. if he if yeah. he have, any, have anything for tomorrow yeah sure all mm. okay. right um okay. just let me know so just I'm... let me know in the afternoon or tomorrow morning if we still need to do the meeting yes. yep I, yes. will, I will just start yes. the meeting tomorrow morning right I think yeah, Echo. I think that yeah, uh, what that you guide us, I will. Okay, maybe you, uh, uh, Rasmi, if you want try. to go, you can go. Then I will continue with Tola. Okay. Yeah. Uh, okay. Thank you, sure, Rasmi. Um, I leave you guys first, but uh, I will keep you posted, and yeah, we we uh, we Please. can. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Sure. Bye, guys. Yeah. Okay. Bye, -bye. Bye Rasmi. Thank you. Bye. Okay, Tola. Yeah, I think uh, today a lot for me to follow too. Yeah, so I will review what that you guide us today and we'll try. I will try to follow maybe tomorrow in the in the trial for. So mm. and for, from my side, I think yeah, that's all to see. Uh, um, make a spare part and spare part report. So we just uh, uh, yeah, modify or uh, continue what that we not well understand and cannot complete or need to develop more. I think after so before that we need to practice first. Okay, sure, yeah. sure. So tomorrow, yeah, if you need help today, um, if you need uh, something for me to do the setup, just let me know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I will yeah. text to you. Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, okay for now. For, yeah, and and for t tomorrow, um, I will let you know whether we continue to train another topic or repeat anything. Let let yeah. me. Try first. I need to try first. Yeah. All right. Sure. Okay. That's good. Yep. Yeah. So yeah, I'll be waiting for you tomorrow in the morning for the yeah, confirmation. Tomorrow. Okay. 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 So I think um, it means um, that's all for today. Yes. Okay. Thank you very much, Tola, for your time and. Yeah, thank you too. Everyone here, like Kana, Dara, thank you for your time. Um, Rasmi is still here. Okay, just let me know if you need anything today. All right? Yeah, yeah. Thank you, sir. Bye, everyone. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, and thank you. You're welcome.